legend has it that cheese balls go back to the year 1801. A farmer by the name of Elisha Brown Jr. apparently created one and then presented it to President Thomas Jefferson at the White House. It was said to weigh... Look at that dagger she's got to well, cut that thing up. It was big. It weighed 1,200 pounds. They said it was like a wagon wheel. It was giant. So the recipe became popular as an appetizer in the 1940s, and it's been gracing a table ever since. Here with some recipes for cheese balls, we have Rob Barrett of Cooking for Dads making his Minnesota Live debut. Hi, Rob. Oh, good to see you, Rob. Good to see you. You're a regular on Twin Cities yeah. Live. Yes. But uh, your first Minnesota Live debut, and we gave you a very Minnesotan task. I know, right? <laughs> Nothing says holiday dinner or a holiday get together without the first cracking open grandma's cheese ball, Why right? Why do you have a cheese ball day in the middle of April is one of the questions. Kind of crazy, it, is, right? it is odd. Why For is us, it's Thanksgiving Christmas, right? Yep. I mean, you don't yep. have an Easter cheese ball, I don't think. Do I, yeah, so. I agree. Did you have one of these at Christmas? Uh, yeah, we normally have. So this is my mom's recipe. Okay. We've made that. She's made that for years. Now my, my daughter has taken over. That's her recipe. Okay. The then here's a pioneer woman recipe because bacon, yep. you know, yep. and you then wrong. I kind of created one uh, a couple days ago that's there. So Down we're going to go end. through all four. First of all, we're not actually talking about these cheese yes. balls, right? Thanks but, for clarifying. Yeah, just so you know, you cannot find these in the Twin Cities right now. Why? I had to go to like seven stores. Really? Guess which one I found it at eventually. Uh, Fleet Farm's Ivy. got good ones. No, Walmart, of course. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but, um, that's so that crazy. Yeah. And they all said, oh, it's seasonal. I'm like, what season is cheese ball season? You is know? it holiday? Apparently now. Uh, uh, yeah, like that's crazy. Now, Costco does have these. I've had those. Have you had these? Are these mm -hmm. talkie ones? No, they're yeah. octopus. <laughs> they're interesting. You, have to, you should, you should we had those one. on the show. We had those I on was, the show. I was on vacation. You were gone, yeah. yeah. Well, I've, well, I've had, today's your lucky day. I've had octopus balls, Rob. They're actually, you take that first bite and you're like, yeah, I don't think so. But then as you kind of chew it, you're like, wait a minute. It comes around wait a, a little bit. It comes around, yeah. People like it. Um, <laughs> I'll take you, your word So, for easy peasy, all these sell cheese balls for like $1.99. Yep. So you, you can buy a cheese ball for, for one ninety nine, and you can't make it for that. So all of you. Know. Well, that's a good point. And they also have a great cracker selection for yep. like a yeah. dollar yep. in one cent. I do love me some all. Okay, okay, so cheese balls are basically um, cream cheese with various, uh, you have your carrier cheese and you have ver various um, ingredients. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a bunch of different kind of cream cheeses, if, you know, get um, fill it off your cream cheese though. Yeah. It is. It is better. Don't you can go for tell. The generics. Right. So I use the Aldi cream cheese for some things, but it, this it really is better. You're going to make it once a year, spring for the extra fifty cents. And That's if it's the if it's the, the main part of it, if you're not right. cooking with it, it's the main part yep. of the meal. Yeah. If I'm you're going to make you. it every day, which of course would be weird, um, <laughs> get the cheaper stuff. But okay. So this is my mom's. It's it's cream cheese, and the key ingredients are crushed pineapple. And red pepper. That one's throwing me a little bit, the pineapple well, yeah. bit. Well, yeah, um, it's supposed to be green pepper, but the fine Mrs. Barrett does not care for green pepper, so I changed it to okay. red pepper. Yeah, that's fine. But that's you can fair. try that if you want. I have a little, little cracker. With oh, I'm little definitely going to try each. it. Okay. This is mom. How, How long has mom been yeah, making yeah, this it, recipe? That's what I was going to ask. I don't know, um, she's only what? 29, plenty nine, yeah. so uh, it's, it's pretty new, I would guess. <laughs> See, I like I like the little sweet with a little I do. pepper and onion. Yeah, it's yeah. a good blend. I like. Oh, that. there's onion in this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I do like this. That's very good. Yeah. Do you, can I can I say something without major reaction from either of you? Probably you not. Be careful. Go ahead. <laughs> be I've careful. Never had a cheese ball. Before. I know you're going to really, say that. Really, really, this is your inaugural, my first time and yeah. your first cheese yeah. ball. Yeah. Wow. This is mark this day in your calendar. <laughs> this, this is a big is, day. Here. This is the day of first. <laughs> right. This is good. Yeah. And this then, is really good. Okay, so this is my daughter's cheese ball. Once again, cream cheese. and But then the key, couple key ingredients is the Cracker Barrel um, cheddar cheese. So you break that up and add, you add it in and shred mix it, it in? Shred it, it, yeah. shred oh, it in, and shred then it in. Okay. dice pimento peppers. Okay. This feels to me like a southern cheese ball because the pimentos mm. are so big in the south, no? No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Don't know. My, my wife really likes this one. I like my mom's a little bit better, so we have a little controversy here in the Barrett family. Sure. But now, um, is this I, an add-on or is this a normal? This is a cheese ball covered with cheese balls. Okay. <laughs> it's very meta. <laughs> and it has a little face. That kind of looks like my daughter. No, it doesn't. She's going to kill me. She's a little face there. <laughs> that, that didn't really think that well, through so much. Hmm. But, um, so I've had something similar to this. My mom makes something that's somewhat It's like a lot this. of flavor. Oh. Very good. Uh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. So a couple tips is when you make it, you have to soften your cream, cream cheese first. Take it out of the, the wrapper, 20 seconds in the microwave, just to soften That's it up. That's it. Okay. It's hard to stir it up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when, when you have to stir it up, you got to put it back in the fridge because it's got to be cold to kind of hold its form. Um, Do you put the nuts on it when it's soft 
before no. you put it in the fridge, or no, do you I, put the nuts on after? Afterwards. Okay. Afterwards. Yeah. Otherwise, it kind of sink in, which is what kind of happened with the crab one mm -hmm. over here. Okay, this is a pioneer woman because you just, you know, you Google cheese balls and guess who owns yep. that space? Yep. Yep. You know, a um, pioneer woman. Her and Paula, right? So this is um, special things here is the white cheddar, which you grate up. Yep. And then bacon, which I grilled and then looked away for a second and burned. But I, the, okay. the bacon in the cheese is the unburned part. Um, but you know, I love grilled bacon; it's my thing. But it, um, like on the yeah. barbecue. Yeah, on the grill. I did that the other day too, and I left it too long. You look away for a second. Fast. Yeah, see, I had this delusion, and my wife will will um, reinforce it that I think that I can multitask. Mm -hmm. And she goes, "You can't." And this would be evidence number one. Most men think that. I know. I know. That is really good. It is really good. It is right. good. Can't so go wrong with Not her first road ranch. ranch, right? You know. Right. Mm -hmm. So we'll have the link to that up. And then lastly, um, I did one with crab because um, I like crab and these things. So also uh, sriracha oh. and honey. And crab. That's the, those Whoa. three. I do a lot of sriracha honey. You're stuff. pushing the limit on, on this one a little bit, Rob. It's not it's not spicy, I don't think. Okay. And then I cover it with some macadamias because. Oh, I that's what's macadamia. on top. Yeah. Look at you. So the nuts are kind of um, the. You can use anything. I, you could do bread crumbs for this. I'm gluten free, so I can't. But the um, uh, yeah. So you kind of cover it in nuts or not. You need, my daughter doesn't normally cover this in anything. Wait, if you're gluten free, can you let you like celery or carrots or something with this, right? I mean, if you can't have the crackers. I have a gluten free. This is great gluten free crackers. Oh. I, I brought some along. Okay. But, um, this is a very rich crab taste. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's good. People, that is what you say it's when you good. don't like something on TV. <laughs> no, it's but good. But you're looking for no, a positive good. thing to say. That's, it is good. It is, Rob, <laughs> listen, everything you make is good. That's it. And it's very rich in crab. It's so. very rich in crab. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. <laughs> we posted Rob's recipes on minnesotalive.com, plus a link to some uh, Cooking for Dad site, which is a great resource. You'll find all sorts of recipes there.